and welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tai Crochet. So let's begin. I'm just going to use a simple 5mm hook here and just a category for yarn. I'm going to make a slip knot. And we're going to make a work on the mixed cluster stitch. So we want to make an even number of chains. If you're making a blanket or a scarf, you can make this as many chains as you want. I'm not going to make a lot of chains. I'm going to do about 26 chains. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through your loop. For my beginners, that is how you make a chain. If you do not know how to crochet, um, you can go to my Absolute Beginners tutorial where I show you how to make all of the basic stitches. So I'm going to make my 26 chains and I will be back. Okay, so now I have my 26 chains here. So what we're going to do, we're going to come closer to the camera. We're going to skip that first stitch. That chain on your hook does not count as, doesn't count for anything. That uh, we're going to skip this first chain and go right into the second chain with a single crochet. And you're just going to make one single crochet going all the way across. So I'll be back when I have my 25 single crochet. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. Once you made all your single crochets, go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to go into the first stitch. Your chain does not count and the loop on your hook does not count. So we're going to yarn over and go into that first stitch with a half double crochet. Now we're going to go right into uh, the continuing of the stitch. So yarn over again, go back into that same stitch again, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and only pull through two of those loops. Yarn over again and you're going to skip the next single crochet and go right into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over one more time. Go back into the stitch again. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And you should have one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and go through all of your loops. If I can get it to go through, okay. And chain one. And that's your first mixed cluster. Now remember, this is a two row repeat. So we're going to do this um, part of the pattern first. And then in the third row, we'll go on to the next part of the pattern. So let's do that again. Go ahead and yarn over. Now you're going to go back into the stitch that you just made. That you just pulled all through your loops. Go back into that same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now yarn over again and go through only two loops. Yarn over again. Skip one. Go into the next one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over again, go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of your loops. Make sure you're twisting your hook. Depending on the kind of yarn you're using, you might have to wiggle a little bit. But if you don't make your stitches too tight, you won't have to do that. So once you pull through all your loops, go ahead and chain one. And that's another mixed cluster. So you're just going to repeat that all the way across. Once you've made your chain one, go ahead and yarn over and go back into that stitch again with a, uh, uh, a yarn over, sorry, and pull up a loop. Go in and pull through only two loops. Yarn over, skip that next one, go into the next single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over again, go back into that stitch and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all loops. Remember to twist your hook as you're pulling through those loops. 
and chain one. Now you're just going to repeat that all the way across and I'm going to meet you right before we get to the end. Remember once you've made that chain one, once you pull through all of your stitches, go ahead and chain one, go back into that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over, skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over again, Back into that stitch one more time, yarn over and pull through all of your loops and chain one. And just re keep repeating that and I'll meet you closer to the end. I'm at the end of the row here and I have a few stitches left. Just only two single crochets left. But this is what your cluster, your um, uh, mixed cluster stitch looks like. Very nice, you can use it for a blanket or a scarf, but I'll use it for anything that makes it look nice. <laughs> it has a nice uh, texture to it. So let's continue. We're at the end now, and I'm going to hit chain one and yarn over. Remember, we have to go back into that same stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over again. Skip that next stitch and go into your last stitch. It may not look like it's not there, but it is there. And go ahead and put your hook in and pull up a loop. Now yarn over again and go back into that same stitch again and pull up a loop and then pull through all of your loops and chain one. No, I'm sorry, there is no chain one. Do not chain one. What you're going to do is once you pull through all of you, loops, <laughs> yarn over and go back into the stitch with a half double crochet. And that's because that's how we started the stitch. That's how we started our row was with a half double crochet. So you want to end with a half double crochet. So now on to the second part of the pattern. Chain one and turn your work. And now just simply a bunch of single crochets. You want to make sure that you go into the right spaces. So you want to go into your um, into your half double crochet, which is right there. That's that first one. And you also want to go into the chain one space. So go and make that next half double crochet right next to it. And that chain one space is right there. You don't want to go into that space here. You want to go right into the top, right here. I'm going to put my nail there so you can see that right there in that little space. When you made your chain one, there's a little space right there. And that's where you put your next single crochet. So you're going to do that all the way across. And remember, when you get to that chain one space, go into that little space and not in here. And just make your single crochets all the way across. And the reason you don't want to put it in that chain one space is you want to keep your stitches nice and close together. So they're nice and close together. So I'm going to meet you at the end of the row. Remember, just keep making your single crochets. Don't go into that chain one space. Go into that little space that it leaves when you make your chain one. And just keep doing that all the way across. And I'll meet you over here at the end of the row. Now, if you want to continue, just go ahead and chain one and turn your work. And again, go into that first stitch with a half double crochet. And then yarn over again. Go back into the stitch again and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, skip one, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all of your loops. Remember to twist your hook and chain one and just repeat that all the way across. So I'm going to make another, a few more rows of this so you can really see the detail in that. And I'll be back. So I'm back, and that is what that stitch looks like. Only did a few rows so you can see what it looks like. 
when it comes together. Nice stitch, nice textured stitch. And that's what it looks like on the other side. That's the wrong side. This is the correct side. You have those nice layers of bumps there to give it a really nice texture. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Diane Made Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.